Hey there, and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to go through some really cool House of the Dragon funny moments and bloopers from interviews. But before we get into it, don't forget to like and subscribe for more funny videos just like this. Paddy Considine had a hilarious interview when he dropped by The Late Show with James Corden. The host asked if the King Viserys actor if he would ever perform with the band Riding the Low while wearing his House of the Dragon costume and his answer was hilarious. Will yeah. you ever go on with Riding the Low with the wig from House of Dragon I would, on? I would fancy that. Yeah. Well, I felt very much like a, a heavy metal rock star when I put that on. You know, yeah. it was very sort of twisted sister, the hair and things like that, you know. That's, that uh, is probably the last high kick I'll ever do. <laughs> Actor and director Paddy Considine, who plays King Viserys in House of the Dragon, revealed during James Corden's show that his acting was inspired by RuPaul's Drag Race. Paddy said that while wearing his white wig and leather, he turned into a character named Lucius, who would catwalk behind the scenes of the HBO show. Where does it come from, this inspiration for the character? Are you talking about RuPaul's Drag Race? Yes, I am. Are you talking? <laughs> That's exactly what I am. Mm -hmm. And with the sort of hair and all the clothes and everything, I just couldn't resist serving a bit of Targaryen realness, you know? Who <laughs> <laughs> Eve Best nicknamed Lucius, I don't know why. She goes, right. oh, she'd say, oh, is Lucius coming today? The young cast of the House of the Dragon had fun in between shooting some very tense scenes. Leo Ashton, who plays a young Aegon Targaryen, was doing jumping jack exercises in between filming scenes, which just goes to show how talented he really is. Don't help, please. Paddy Considine hasn't hidden the fact that he had fun playing King Viserys on House of the Dragon because of the blonde wig and cool leather outfits. During an interview with co-star Matt Smith, Paddy couldn't stop praising the blonde wigs everyone had on the show, and he even did a catwalk. Oh, the hair, darling. <laughs> For one, the beautiful hair. You've never seen Targaryen. Mind you, Daenerys had beautiful hair. Yeah. But this is the finest Targaryen hair you've seen since. Oh, I did, darling. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I did the whole catwalk. He, was, he was very Timothy. I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> Serving Targaryen realness, darling. Leo Ashton, who plays a young Aemon Targaryen in a few episodes of House of the Dragon, had a blast filming his scenes on top of the largest dragon in the Game of Thrones universe. The BTS clip reveals how Leo had to spend hours shooting his scene on top of Vhagar and all the stunts that went into this epic scene on the beast. Visual effects can give us previs. We can feed that in. It will move exactly as the previs. So all the movements can be repeated. It's all got to be quite precise. The first day was quite hard, and the next day I came in, I felt so much power, and I was like, I need to get this as well as I can. Steve Tusan, who plays Eve Best, revealed during a Buzz interview what they wanted to go home with from the set of House of the Dragon. Steve, who plays Corlys Valerian, let it slip that he wanted one of his character's weapons, but even the interviewer read more into his statement. Jim. We were so good. Yeah. The one thing that I wanted is my character has a huge weapon. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as I came out, I thought I went, oh, right, that's how going to say that. How are yeah. you saying it? Emma Darcy, who plays Princess Renina, Renira, and Olivia Cook who played Queen Alicent, blasted Matt Smith, who plays Daemon Targaryen, for hating and complaining about his blonde wigs the most on the show. Emma and Olivia found it so annoying that Matt Smith looked the best in the blonde wigs, but he kept complaining. Matt? Matt. But Matt had more wigs than anyone as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. He had more to say about his wigs. <laughs> yeah. And he hated them. And he, hated and he had them. more of them. Yeah, I think Matt, yeah. I love Matt. he's mine. really patient. He's a very patient human being. Like, he can sit there for like, he'd be in makeup for like six hours, <laughs> not a scratch on him. 
Paddy Considine would have been on Game of Thrones years ago, but he explained during an interview that he didn't join the cast because he couldn't understand what the script was about. He also explained that the way the agent told him about the Game of Thrones series made it seem like it was so much work. Funnily enough, years ago I'd got sent the first ever Game of Thrones script and um, I couldn't make head and tail of it. I couldn't make any sense of it whatsoever. Yeah. And I remember I spoke to my agent at the time and I said, what's this about? And he said, oh, it's, the, it's these kingdoms and there's an iron throne and, uh, you know, they're all fighting for it and there's these dragons. And I just sort of went, oh, no, I can't <laughs> Fabian Frankel played a fun game while being interviewed by Seriously, and he and Millie Alcock ended up revealing their love for their co-star, Eve Best. Fabian, who plays Sir Kristen, even went on to say that he often dreamt about Eve when he slept and wondered about what she is always doing. Okay. Myself? It's random Emily Best. She is like a sea breeze. <laughs> <laughs> smells so good. Unbelievable. All the time. She just smells incredible. Yeah. She's so gentle. And when she talks to you, it feels like she's looking into, in, your, in, into your soul. I dream Scream. of her. I she dream of her. My messages with David very often. <laughs> just all that I often think about of Emily Eve Best. Best and yeah. kind of what she's up Eve Best hilariously explained to fans during a BBC radio interview that it was so hectic filming the scenes on top of the Mighty Dragons. Eve even did a funny sound that the fake dragon makes when you're riding on it, and it was so funny. Do the do the do the sound. <laughs> That's it. Because <laughs> it makes noises. It ma it makes a sort of noise. Because I thought, oh, I'm a little bit disappointed because it doesn't actually look. Matt Smith and his on-screen brother, Paddy Considine, had a blast trying out food for their Lad Bible TV interview, but they didn't expect to eat so much. While they were answering questions, they were given the McDonald's Egg and Sandwich McMuffin to try, but their mouths were so full that Matt and Paddy pretended to stuff the burgers in their mouths, and it was so funny. You could, you could... <laughs> mm. you could... Yeah. <laughs> mm. oh, oh, it's so good. <laughs> yeah, that wins. USA wins. Fabian Frankel opened up about struggling to ride a horse on the set of House of the Dragon, after he lied about knowing how to do it on his resume. Frankel explained the directors ended up putting him on top of a wide pony for some of the scenes instead of a real horse. I put, I put them all down. I'll say that I'll say that the not the riding a horse thing came to because what happens is when you don't know how to ride a horse, uh, uh, but you tell them that you do. There's a very limited amount of time they set aside for you to learn to ride a horse. And they put me. They degraded. They they downgraded me to a very very slow horse called Dume, who was really wide. A big pony. Uh, yeah, in not, like, literally a pony that was that big. And I was like, well, okay, I can see that they don't buy it anymore. Paddy Considine said during a recent House of the Dragon interview that sitting on the Iron Throne wasn't as comfortable as fans would think. When questioned if he wanted a pillow while sitting on the cold throne, Paddy said part of playing his character's role was suffering, so he was just playing the part. Were you allowed to have a little cushion underneath yourself for the Iron Throne? No, I didn't want one. No, you have to feel the discomfort. It is uncomfortable as well. Yeah, it's not throne. comfortable to sit on, is no, it, at it's all? Not. But I didn't ask for a cushion, no. No, you've got to suffer to be on that throne. Part of it. Matt Smith and Paddy Considine had a blast playing Snack Wars on Lad Bible TV while promoting the show. But the first sweets they got to taste were a total disaster. The ice cream the actors were served had already melted by the time they got round to tasting it. <laughs> oh, sweet stuff. Oh, okay. these are walls. That's stuff. Fing out up into that. Me. Ice cream. Fing me. <laughs> It's like half nine it's in gone the morning. all smushy. <laughs> what walls? Is... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah it's just... Maybe you need a spoon to <laughs> yeah, eat this. Like According to Sir Kristen, actor Fabian Frankel, his co star Reese Infans, who plays the hand, was always so unserious on set despite how serious his character is on House of the Dragon. Fabian said during one of their scenes together, Reese was there pretending he had been slapped by him just to hide the fact he'd forgotten his lines. Reese one time forgot a line and he he went like this. He went, Fabian. And I was like, yeah? And he was like, Fabian, it's, it's your line. And I was like, and then to make it worse, he panicked. He took my hand. I swear to God, it's on his face. And he went, Fabian, you can't. Guys, cut. I don't know that's how to. That's a great reason, bro. Well, that's what he did. 
That interview clip brings us to the end of today's video. What was your favorite interview moment from the Game of Thrones prequel? Let us know down below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos just like this, and we'll see you in the next one.